will be finding the difference between a model, a theory, and a law. So now, first of all, what is a model, you might be thinking? A model is something you can use to, well, model some natural phenomena like an apple falling or a moon orbiting the Earth. So, for example, let's say I wanted to, well, model the moon orbiting the Earth. Hmm, how am I going to do that? I can't just take a rocket and blast off and go to the moon. There must be some way to, well, model it. And that's exactly what a model is. Now, um, let's imagine up a model. Let's say that, well, I had water, and maybe that could be the moon. And then I had my hand, which would be holding a rope connecting to that water. That rope would probably be gravity. And maybe my hand, which is actually smaller than the water apparently, could be Earth. Hmm, let's try this out. This water, it's real water. You can see it. Now let's see what happens when we drop a coin in it. This is a bucket of water. Now, of course, you know it'll spill out if I flip it upside down, just like when uh, an apple falls, it's just being pulled to the ground and there's no other force. But here I have this rope, which is gravity, and here I have my hand, which will be Earth. I will hold it a little uh, like here. model in my mind. So now when I bite, I have this in my mind. When I go to sleep, I have this in my mind. When I wake up, I have it in my mind. So that means that with this, I can formulate a theory. Now, what is a theory? Well, a theory is something that is hypothetically testable. It's a hypothesis that is testable. So it can be clarified right or wrong by some certain uh, experiment. So that's what a theory is. So my theory, my theory is that this is almost exactly how the moon orbits the earth. But the thing is, there's no rope between the earth and the moon. At least we can't see it. So what is this rope supposed to uh, suggest? Well, it's gravity, which is kind of like an invisible rope. It's a force pulling two objects together. What is the difference between a traffic law and a physical law? Well, a traffic law is prescriptive. You don't have to follow it. You have physical laws that describe a number of natural phenomena. So now I'm going to use my model of a water bucket and a rope, and I'm going to use my theory that, well, centripetal force, velocity, and gravity are all related in some way to formulate our final equation that is a law, which would be the centripetal force is equal to the mass times velocity squared over r. Because according, uh, there's another law that states to, uh, because according to our observations, a is equal to v squared over r. And we combine that with the findings of Sir Isaac Newton to get our law. So that's the difference between the model, the theory, and the law. Don't forget to use these three concepts, a model, a theory, and a law to discover something new and discover something great. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.